This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Deborah Keel with me. You are the children's librarian at our Smith Falls Public Library. Thank you for joining us again. It's been a long time. Yes, it has been, and I'm uh, very happy to be back, and thank you very much for having me. Well, next week is March break. The children are off for a week, and you're going to keep them busy at our library. That's right. That's right. We're uh, having a superhero week, so uh, lots of activities every day, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, we're starting off on Monday with um, Create Your Superhero Costume, basically. That's going to be a registered program. And kids are going to make their own capes, their own masks. And then we have a green screen, so we're going to set it up so they can take some, uh, get some pictures oh, taken. So wow. that should be really exciting. So it's a green screen, but they're going to have a background on it. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. We'll project a background onto it. We'll that's add. great, that's great. Now you want to register. I was at an event a, a few months ago, and oh my goodness, <laughs> it was it a register, and you had, what did you say, over 90 children show up? Yes, yes, for our Pokemon Day. Yes, we, uh, it was a bit much. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it was awesome, but it, but it was pretty busy. <laughs> yeah. So you want people to register beforehand now? So yes, yes. Actually, the, you know, um, I'm taking a maximum between 12 and 14 children for that day just because of table space and, you know, so they have a place to work. Um, and it's just me and them. So it, it's a good ratio. Is that age limits or anything? Um, that's, actually, I have it for all ages. Okay. You know, so that opens it up for the young, really young ones. And um, if children are under eight, the age of six, then a parent uh, needs to stay in the building with okay. them. All right. Just All right. in case there's an issue or whatever. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. I need my mom. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's from 2 o'clock till 4 o'clock. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. The next day, Tuesday uh, the 14th, you've got stories and more. Yes. That's for our, my regular uh, Tuesday morning event. Uh, so it's just basically our story time. I just kind of came up with a little bit catchier name because we do stories and rhymes and songs and literacy activities and um, so it's going to be around the theme of the three bear three Goldilocks and the three bears we're doing a continuation of that story for the next couple of weeks and picking different parts of it so this uh, this week for example we're going to be doing forests and the three bears and then Okay, so on. okay. Yeah. And that one goes on every week. These, these drop-ins are wonderful for both the children and the parents yeah. and the caregivers. I, that's right. I run it in six-week sessions. So mm -hmm. we just started this uh, new six-week session on uh, last week. And uh, it'll run right through until the Tuesday before Easter. So Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. And the next day, Wednesday the 15th, Captain Underpants and Dogman. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I thought, well, we have to do some old school. Um, Captain Underpants was really big uh, probably about 10 years ago especially but Dogman has taken over and it's by the same author Dave P Pilkey and um, so it's just so many fun things to do like we're going oh, to absolutely. decorate our faux underwear <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to have some other games I actually have this uh, a board game that we're going to be doing. It's a Dogman board game, but it's played with a larger group of children. So I'm really excited about that. Um, it's like they have to uh, catch the the bad guy before you know they destroy the city or you yeah, know. another superhero. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's going to, uh, and then we're doing this really cool um, uh, Captain Underpants uh, craft where it uses a very large uh, popsicle stick and you put a felt back on it and then you put his face and so it's going to be a bookmark. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Excellent, yeah. excellent. You, you've, you've got a great imagination because <laughs> you've been doing this for how long? Um, at our library? I will be at the library uh, while well, I start in 2001, so 22 years. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And you, you're so creative because the kids keep coming back. You've got different <laughs> things going on well, all the I, time. Well, I have to say, um, like a lot of other librarians, I use the resources that are available, uh, you know, People share, we have little forums that we can share ideas and, 
and that's the best way and then you take it from there right. you know you get that little thing oh I can do this and then oh what else can I do with that yeah, yeah it's fun yeah. and it's, you go with whatever's popular now too yeah sort of thing too yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. right yeah absolutely so that was Wednesday six plus years old register <laughs> yes yes mm -hmm. and we're taking 12 children that day okay okay Thursday March 16th superhero scavenger hunt Yes, and that's going to be an afternoon event. Uh, so it's uh, what we would call a passive program. So kids will come in and um, we'll have a sheet with all the superheroes. And then they have to go through the library and find them all. And when they come back uh, up to see me, then I can, they'll get these really, we got these really cool stickers. Or uh, We had them for the Pokemon Day mm -hmm. and uh, the kids love them. So they'll just get a sticker for that. Excellent, excellent. And on Friday, stories and more. That's something you do regularly as yes, well. Yes, yep. That's, that's the same as what we did on Tuesday. And um, then right after that, we have baby time. So that's uh, another drop-in program as well. And it's just rhymes and little stories and activities for new mums. Oh, excellent. And, I have to... Or grandma, you know, like Everybody, whoever. Yes, and dads. Yeah. I've had some dads and it's wonderful to have the dads come out. Excellent. Yes, yeah. for sure. And I have to go back to Thursday too because you have a superhero trivia contest in the afternoon as well. That's right. And that's uh, at two o'clock and we have a really cool prize for the winner. Um, it's uh, a 3D Spider-Man pillow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's really kind of cool. So uh, uh, I would like it <laughs> if I was, if I was, you know, little. Or <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yeah, this sounds like an awesome week. You're going to keep the children busy for, for the March break and their parents as well, yeah. too. So it'll get them out. Yeah. And also on, on Tuesday afternoon, I have a program. Um, it's Test Your Superhero uh, Powers. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is it's almost like a... Uh, a relay in the fact that they're going to go from activity to activity where they're going to have to, you know, go through uh, laser maze. Then we're going to have fake dumbbells that they're going to have to try to lift, you oh, know, wow. and jump over tall buildings. And there's a few other things in there like uh, testing their uh, skills with throwing and stuff like that. And what we're going to do is, so we don't have the same issue as we did on the um, <laughs> for Pokemon as we're going to take let 15 children up at any one time okay so it runs from two to four but it's um, you know when when we have space again then more children can come in and it's just you know just a lot of fun yes right? it absolutely absolutely yeah. gets yeah. them out and, uh, yeah. and experience our library too yeah so. and then Lego time Lego yes. time on Friday afternoon. And that's a, an ongoing thing too, you do? Yeah. yeah, we just do it whenever. And, mm -hmm. and um, it's something that I want to start bringing back on a regular basis because with, with the COVID issues, yeah. you know, uh, we had to sort of cut back on a lot of things. Right, right, right. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Well, well, you know, while I'm here, while you're here, I need to mention that uh, Deborah was nominated for one of our remarkable women of Smith Falls. <laughs> Last it was June or July, I believe, at the Heritage House Museum. Yes. Yes, yes. you got nominated. Yes. Uh, wonderful, wonderful reasons why, too, because you are amazing with our children. And uh, right now, uh, it's a traveling exhibit. Yes. So your panel board is at uh, uh, BFF. Yeah. The, um, it's a... Yeah, full-figured women. Yes, that's yes. right. Beautiful yeah. full-figured uh, boutique on, yeah. I, I call it Davidson Court. In yes. So now your panel's there. Last year when they presented them, they put them up at the Heritage House Museum. The museum is sharing them throughout town right now. So your panel is exhibited at uh, BFF downtown yes. too. So. Yeah. Uh, you know, some of the things it says on there too, so true, so true. Uh, Deborah, is, who uh, makes constant efforts to go above and beyond for the children of Smith Falls, you help the children to read. You create crafts and events and story time. You say our, our library is a safe place. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter how old you are, whether you are affluent or not, you can come to the library. Yes. So, yeah. well, congratulations well, on your nomination. Well, thank you. Um, I was very uh, surprised and um, very honored by the, and it was very humbling, to be quite honest with you. I never expected it. And uh, first, for the person who wrote that to remember what I 
I, I even had forgotten what I had done for them re regarding their child teaching them. Is that the one with the child that uh, there you there was a uh, learn to read and yeah. they didn't have room, so you taught them how to read? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I yeah assisted with that. Yeah, and um, the fact that they remembered that um, was. Uh, Oh my it was just very touching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. I and that program, our one-on-one -on -one tutoring, is um, such an important part of what we do in the summer. So absolutely, uh, yeah, absolutely. Well, congratulations on well, your nomination. Well, thank you. And uh, if anybody wants to learn more about the library, I know you've got a Facebook page. That's where I always find. Yep, <laughs> yep. And yeah. our uh, website too. Uh, everything is on there. Uh, and you know, hopefully, word of mouth is usually and. Yes. TV. <laughs> yes, yes, for sure. Oh, well, thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to come and talk to us here at FYI. And uh, good luck with all your events next week on March break. Let's keep those kids busy. And the yeah. parents. Yes. And yes. grandparents. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Kathy. It was a pleasure.